Um, it was. I was going to say, as I've, I've been thinking about this, um, the the gun violence in um, urban America, and then I thought about, oh, it's not underreported. No, we've actually been talking about it as of late. Uh, but as of late, because see, it's been big. You know, when, when you know, I'm from Chicago, and so you know, I I study a lot uh, about the violence in Chicago, and I study a lot about the violence because it has hit home. Uh, it's no longer, you know, it's no longer in that neighborhood. It's no longer over there in the bad place. No, um, it's in, it's on the block I grew up in, you know, on when, you know, uh, two gunmen put a gun in my dad's face in our garage and I was in the kitchen summer before last. So it's, you know, it's kind of like, oh, you know, um, wow. So when I hear uh, the, the notion of, you know, you know, the issues and the struggles and, um, um, these issues with gun violence and um, gun rights. Uh, at first I was thinking, you know, that's really underrepresented. I'm like, no, oh no, we're talking about it now. But we're talking about it more now because Chicago hit over 500 homicides last year. So that's why we're talking about it. But it's been something to me, I've always thought that, you know, when are people going to care about this? You know what I mean? When, when is this going to matter? Well, it started to matter when it really, it became national news. And it is national news now. Um, I, I think that when people, you know, it, it used to kind of be underreported, but now it's, you hear more about it now because now, uh, on, over the weekend, Monday morning, you get the tally of the weekend's murders, you see. So, it's like, now it's so sensational, and people go, are you kidding me? But this has been happening, um, for a long time, and even we, who, uh, grew up in that place, who even maybe had a sense of indifference because it wasn't happening in our neighborhood, but over there where the gangs are, where the, well, you know, you can no longer point to those places anymore. So, you know, what is the underrepresented, underreported story? <laughs> I gotta, um, that's kind of where I, that's where I went. Uh, I can just name so many uh, other things in terms of, you know, Domestic violence, violence against women, et, et cetera, violence against, you know, you know, the rape culture, which includes men being violated. I can name all those things. I, I think you hear about them, but there are certain uh, sectors and pockets that you don't hear about, you know. But so those are the places, it's those places, that it's, it, it typically has to do with violence in terms of the things that I'm thinking about. And maybe because I'm a minister and that's where I meet people sometimes, you know, um, that's, um, you know, you meet folk, you know, kind of, you're, you, you journey with people ritually often, you know, in the joys, you know, officiating a wedding, baby blessing, or when you are um, officiating, you know, a funeral or, some, you know, some very painful thing. So I kind of see those things and often wonder, where is the outrage over this? You know, um, I... I didn't mean to continue here, but um, you all have been to the service and you know that we are dealing with hunger. And if there was ever, you know, the more I deal with it, and because we are officially trying to confront uh, the issues of hunger um, right here in the North Country, right here in this community, and it took us focusing on it in this community for us to really pay attention to global hunger because, you know, the numbers are. 870 million hungry people around the world. Well, that's amorphous suffering. That is, it is so abstract. It's a blob. I don't see it. You know, how do you bring those things that are far off in your mind up close? You got to put a face on it. You got to, you know, as I said in a sermon recently, you got to put flesh on it. I got to give you bone and sinew and skin and muscle. I need to, you know, then I see myself. It's no longer other. It's me, it's Gabby, it's a family, it's, you know, it matters. And so it took the school, some, you know, knowing that school children right here in this village uh, go hungry over the weekends. Um, and so the, the organization that responded to that, and hence we are responding through them. And so you talk about underreported hunger stuff because some people are hunger, you know. You, you listen to, you hear that word and we check out sometimes.